Hi, Dr. Lawrence Otto about the hemorrhoids, the pain you're experiencing. I highly recommend you look at the longer video as well. What are hemorrhoids? The anal canal has a, a group or plexus of veins that must be very elastic to allow for bowel movement. And these veins can become very inflamed. When they become inflamed, they become painful and they can bleed. These are your hemorrhoidal veins. There is there are internal and external hemorrhoidal veins. You may notice these from blood on toilet paper or a little blood in the stools and the pain when you have a bowel movement. The management optimally right now is where I'd like you to soak 30 or 45 minutes in a warm bath water twice a day and place either a steroid over-the-counter steroid cream for hemorrhoids in the area that is inflamed or use a steroid suppository that I prescribe, depending upon how severe the condition is. You can take naproxen, which is over the counter at 220 milligrams. You take two with food, very important, with food every 12 hours, so long as there is pain. If this goes on more than a week, I need to see you again. We need to investigate what the problem is, unless you we know you have a thrombosed or clotted hemorrhoid. The other talk will go, the other video goes into that. You should be using stool softeners and avoiding constipating foods. Stool softeners are over the counter. Ducosate sodium is the one I recommend at 100 milligrams two or three times a day. And you should undergo nutritional tune-up. The other video goes into this. Having hemorrhoids does suggest you're not eating well or there are other lifestyle changes that need to be undertaken or there's an underlying cause that we need to investigate. Medications, as I said, Ducosate sodium over the counter, naproxen over the counter. You can get herbal suppositories. You can get steroids that are over the counter to be used for this. Or I may prescribe a steroid cream or a steroid suppository. Conclusions, it'll be about lifestyle. Ultimately, the hemorrhoids should resolve with the daily soaks over the period of four or five days. And you will follow up to understand how to avoid these in the future. If there's an underlying disease process, I may request blood work, colonoscopy, perhaps imaging to make sure there's nothing preventing the blood to flow back up to your heart from this hemorrhoidal uh, plexus or group of, ve of veins in the anal canal. Very good. There's a longer one. Please watch it. Thanks.